Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to all my new subbies. If you don't know me, my name is Kay In Kim Chu, and today we're filming what I do as a Nigerian wife in a day. So come along with me. I've been up since 6.30. I've been up cleaning, and that's what you guys will see in the next clip. So please enjoy. Hold up. Hold up. Hey you guys, as you can see, I start off my day with brushing my teeth and then I move on to my facial. I will try to list all the products down below, but if I forget, I did bring the product close so you can get the name off the screen if you pause. And this is being recorded in the guest bathroom. As you can see, I'm using my EO2 face wash hand rag and you do put your hand in this and I do wash this every three days and let it air dry. I don't know if you can still get it, but I purchased this at Target. I'm pretty sure Walmart and other outlet retailers carry it. And it really is good. I enjoy using this daily. Now I'm pat drying my face and I go in with my toner. After I use my toner, then I go in with my moisturizer and I do switch up on moisturizers daily depending on what I need. Some has SPS in it and some does not. So depending on what I want for the day is what I use and I go bring it down to my neck. Now I'm using a fade cream which is Ambi cream on certain blemishes on my face and my neck. Normally, I would hand wash dishes, but we only have a few, so I put them in the dishwasher so I wouldn't have to waste time because it is 6 o'clock in the morning and I really need to be somewhere at 10. So I just put the few that I had in the dishwasher and then I spray down the counters and then I wipe off the counters with um, the Lysol rag and I do wipe off the counters whether they are dirty or not but I dust them first because it always like little bits of pieces that you don't see so I make sure I dust them on the floor so I can sweep them up and I always clean out the sink now I'm dancing <laughs> because I'm listening to music also so I go in and I after I spray them down with, with Clorox bleach, I always wipe them off again. And then I will sweep the floor as the last thing that I do. I do mop, but I mop on Sundays. And I mop the whole house. Every time I clean the living room, it always seems to be a lot of things lying around. So I first tackle that. Then I fluff the pillows and make sure they're puffy because we always lay on them that's the, <laughs> the problem that we have then I dust everything and wipe off the areas with a Lysol wipe to keep it sanitized after I dust and I make sure that I include the TV in that also because we tend to touch the TV a lot although the holidays are over we tend to keep our Christmas tree in the storage, so one of us have to drop it over, and we have not done that yet. So now I'm using carpet deodorizer, and this is really good. I let this sit on the floor for about 30 minutes. I try to multitask, so when this is sitting for 30 minutes, I load up the dryer and washer with another load. So that's what I'm doing here. I do use, I go between Gain and Tide. So I do use both. It depends on what I have available or what I chose to use. And I do use two different Gains. I use the Gain Ultra because the pods are bigger. If you have not used this, please do. You're thanking me later. At one point, I used to be a professional cleaner. So I do like the carpet lines, and this is how you get the carpet lines in your carpet. 
it. And I do this every time. Though it's not necessary, my husband really doesn't care either way. But I like it when it when you see it on the floor, it looks so professionally done. So I do them for my own. I'm sorry y'all, I be so extra sometimes. So as you can see, I'm going in a straight line and they do look so good on the floor when you see the floor. So if you would like to do this, this is how you would get it done. And this is how you get the lines in your carpet. <laughs> now I'm dusting the side table. I make sure to lift everything up and dust under it. At the end, I like to light a candle because my husband loved that fresh smell of fragrance and candle burning in the house when it's clean. And then I move on to the dining room table, which I dust and I wipe off. I try to keep everything sanitized due to COVID. And I try to wipe off all the areas that is common to touch. So I wipe the back of the chair and I wipe the seats with the Lysol wipe. And I bought this duster at the Dollar Tree. So this is a lifesaver and it is rewashable. So if you would check the Dollar Tree, you would probably find this also and it's really good. And it's very durable. Okay, you guys, I'm done returning that and I believe you guys are cut up now. Where I'm at in my day is 9.36 and I'm on the way to get my hair done. I have a 10 o'clock appointment and since I'm the first today, I'm running a little late, just a little. Normally I'd be there on time, but I had to return this thing because it was in the car for like four days times six. Nah, I'm just playing. It was in the car for quite a long time. So, I'll just leave it at that. Um, my response to those people who told me that I do not need a lipo. I'm sorry, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. And I know a lot of people are concerned. I know sometimes people think that what bothers others wouldn't bother them and you're correct i it's not that i'm insecure i just want to be i want to be slimmer and i don't want to actually do the work i'm sorry i don't i don't want to go to the gym i want to be able to just go to a doctor's office and be done with it and I know a lot of my friends were calling me and saying that, you know, I don't need it. Uh, if, and I understand where they're coming from, but again, I didn't make this decision lightly. I know the consequences. I know everything that I'm doing. And this is something that I really want to do. So. But I, I thank all my supporters for the positivity and saying that, you know, this 2021 is no BS. And that's the, the reason why I did that video is because it's a lot of things that I've been just holding back and doing. And now is my opportunity to do it. So thank you for your concern. Thank you for just following my journey. But... <laughs> <laughs> again I'm going to do it and I don't feel any type of way about this so negative positive neutron I'm going to do it so let me go but thanks this is the final result yes guys <laughs> yeah let's go there no I just messed with her in her oh. <laughs> videos I'll leave her information down in the link below. Jessica Carmona from Extravaganza Hair Salon. <laughs>
trying to get my hair messed up. <laughs> okay, we're going to take a quick look at Coach since we're getting something to eat and we're hanging out. So we'll take y'all along with us. <laughs> I'll let you guys see what I got in the car. <laughs> Okay, you guys, it's late and I just got home like an hour ago. It's almost 1030. So I'm going to show you guys what I got. I was supposed to cook to add to this video. I was supposed to make bean porridge and um, plantains, but I didn't get an opportunity to cook because we did go out to eat afterwards. So that will be coming up in the next couple of videos. So I'm going to show you guys what I got right quick. Before I show you guys what I got, I, I picked this up. This is the patch that's under my eyes. It's called the Golden Snail, and you do leave it on your eyes for 30 minutes. It's supposed to nourish and hydrate so it won't be dry. So I think I paid like less than $8 for this, but I got this at Burlington earlier, and I'm pretty sure you can find something similar at any drugstore. I end up going to the Coach store. And I end up getting these. They were like, it could have been more than $80. And this, that was Coach Outlet, of course. And these were so cute. I always wanted Coach Expedrills. And the ones that I wanted was the plain ones, not the ones with the in carbon Cs. So I just wanted regular jean uh, Coach um, Espadrilles. But this is the one I saw. And they no longer make the jeans one or they have not come out with a new one. So I just picked these one up. And my friend, who is my hairdresser, actually ended up purchasing me this water container. And I have shoes that match this. So I thought that was really cute. And I really did like this. I'm going to take this to work and... I'm going to drink all this. And this is just too cool. She ended up purchasing this for me for my birthday. So I thought that was really sweet of her. Thank you, Jessica. <laughs> and last but not least, I ended up picking up this uh, Double Wear Insta Fix Concealer. And I, this is a 24 hour uh, Estee Lauder concealer. And I end up um, going there just to check it out. And this was actually on clearance in, in the cosmetic company store for $7. So I just had to get it because it'll be a backup for one of the ones that I already got. So I thought that was kind of cool. And I this is one of the concealers I really do like. Okay, you guys, I'm going to go. I'm exhausted and I have to spend quality time with the fam. So leave a comment, 
of any suggestion videos that you would like me to do and share this video, like and subscribe. Good night.